All right, guys, welcome, welcome here. Uh, we're going to be talking about calculating function values, computing function values, evaluating functions, a lot of ways to uh, talk about this skill. And it's not too bad, it's kind of fun. So here we go, let's get into it. Uh, we learned about this a while ago, a function rule uh, maps all of the numbers in the domain to the range. So for instance, we can see this rule right here f of x equals 2 times x, right? And you can read this function of x equals 2 times x. Um, basically what that does is it takes the x value or the domain value and it multiplies it by 2 and that is equal to our output or our range. So here we go, let's see it in action, right? Here's the domain value of 0. All right, we'll multiply that times 2. You also get 0. Here's the domain value of 1. You multiply it times 2. There you go, you get a value output range of 2. 4.7 times 2, that becomes 9.4. And negative 30 uh, would map to negative 60. So, okay, here we go. Here's another one. You can see kind of writing it out this way. All right, so let's do a couple of examples. We'll do um, <clears throat> some of the practice problems here together. And then we'll leave, of course, some for you to do. Here, this first one's super simple. It's f of x equals x plus 4. And uh, let's go ahead and come over here. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and write that equation, f of x equals x plus 4. And then let's look here and see. OK, our first value is 0. So we've got an x value of 0. So we're going to write it like this, f of 0 equals, and then 0 plus 4. OK, now it's not too hard to add 0 and 4 together. So we would write this, f of 0 equals 4. So when we have a function value, uh, an, a function x value of 0, our function output value equals 4. So let's go ahead and fill in our table here. So we have 0, and then we must get 4. All right, now we get negative 1. OK, so let's do another one here. All right, let's uh, get us a new page here. So of course, still the same function, f of x equals x plus 4. All right, and now we're doing f of negative 1, right? So our x value is negative 1, so that equals negative 1 plus 4. Therefore, f of negative 1 equals positive 3. All right, so let's fill that in right there. Okay, now some of these we might not have to write it down, right? We might be able to just kind of start seeing like, okay, I take the x value, I add 4, so I'm going to get 7. I'm going to get, you know, uh, I believe that one would be negative 6 and 14 and so on and so on. Uh, so, okay, that's good. That's good. Let's see. Let's do one of these harder ones. Like, let's maybe do one of these last couple. Let's try this one. f of x equals x divided by 2 plus 6. So okay, here we go, clean slate. And uh, maybe I'll use the, uh, the function here uh, to write it in a little bit cleaner. f of x equals x over 2, x divided by 2 plus 6, if I'm not mistaken. Let's double check, yes. All right, so we'll insert the math there. All right, so Let's see, what is our first x value? Our first x value, of course, is 0. Maybe we'll leave that one. Let's do this 4 right here, the, or pardon me, the negative 4. So let's do an x value of negative 4. So here we go. We're going to have f of negative 4 equals, OK, and then uh, the uh, negative 4 also goes in here for this x, negative 4. 4 divided by 2 plus 6. Okay, so let's do our division first. Negative 4 divided by 2, that becomes negative 2 plus 6 
So our overall value is 4. So f of negative 4 maps to positive 4. So OK, we can fill that one in. Now you can see that there is a an empty space here. So the intention of that is so that you can write your own value in. And you can see some of these other ones have places as well where you can write your own values in. So you can pretty much put in whatever number you want to test out. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. I'm not actually going to do that one. I'm going to just leave it blank. You're going to have to make up a number, whatever number you want. And then uh, again, go through that process of dividing by two and adding six and then putting the result right here. Okay, should we do one more? Maybe we don't even need to really because you have the answers here. Uh, so you can always check your answer. You can always ask for help if you need it. But that's sort of the basic steps uh, that we're going to go through. So anyways, there you go. That is how you calculate a function value.